Hello, my name is Zoe Laughlin and I'm a director of the Institute of Making at University College London. This is a how-to guide for a DIY face shield, but it must be stressed this is not a medical device, so it only should be considered if you have no other options. You will need some form of elasticated headband. This kind of thing is perfect, but if you don't have that, you could try the waistband from a pair of pants or the section of a piece of legging. So take a piece from across the thigh. This works really well. You want a nice wide band though. Then you need clips. This demo is gonna use five of these sort of bulldog clips, but you could use this type of bulldog clip. These clips work very well, this sort of thing. And if all you have are paper clips, then you can use those, but use lots of them. These are kind of dog shaped ones, this will do. And finally, you'll need a plastic document wallet. That's what you need, this is what you do. So the first step is to take apart the wallet by just carefully unpicking the seam. So you don't need scissors for this, but it will help you do a, a neater job. And also you'll notice that the seam of the document wallet has a kind of texture where stuff can lurk. So it's actually quite good to take that off. So you want to open that out so you've got the flat sheet. You can again just cut or tear carefully down there. Now this one wallet will give you two face guards, but I think the end with the flap is best because this extends it down a little bit more and brings it in under the chin slightly. So this is the kind of A side, your premium side. Next you have to locate the middle and simply Start attaching your headband to the middle of the document and work your way out. Okay, you might want to put the last clips on when it's in place. Now it's worth taking a little bit of time, although this is a really quick method. What's the most important is that you make it comfortable. Okay, so take your time to find a material that feels good to you. Okay. And there you have it. And then the moment of truth, I'm going to put my hair up. Now, one of the good things about this design is that the hairband, the elastic, actually does a really good job of securing your hair back from your face. Plus, it makes it very comfortable. This is really lightweight and secure. I could wear this for a long time if I needed to. But if you are wearing this, you've got to do all you can to stop yourself bringing your hands up to your face. It's vital with any PPE that you don't fiddle with it once it's on, okay? So you could wear a mask with this, but once it's on, don't touch it. And then if you want to use it again, you can, but taking it off, be super careful. Consider this contaminated and then clean it thoroughly. That means hot soapy soapy wash, scrub, 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 scrub for the film. And then with the clips, same, wash them thoroughly. You could even boil them or put them in bottle sterilisation fluid. And the elastic in the washing machine, hot wash, 60 degrees or higher. Okay, and a full guide to how to clean it, how to make it, and how to take care of it, and how to get yourself into the right mindset for PPE is available on the Institute of Making website. <laughs>